There's a famous seaside place named Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fog. And Mr and Mrs Roundbottom went there with young Albert, their son. A fine little lad with young Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell, with his stick with the horse's head handle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much to the ocean, the waves they was piddling and small. There were no wrecks and nobody drowned. In fact, nothing to laugh at at all. So, seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo, where they'd lions and tigers and camels. Oh, and old ale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion named Wallace. His nose was all covered in scars, and he lay with his face in a somnolent way with his head on the side of the bars. Now Albert had heard about lions, how they was ferocious and wild, and to see Wallace lying so peaceful, well, it didn't seem right to the child. So straightway the brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with the horse's head handle and shoved it in Wallace's ear. Well, you could see that the lion didn't like it, but given a kind of a roll, he pulled Albert inside cage with him and swallowed the little lad whole. Now, Mother had seen this occurrence and didn't know what to do. Uh, father, young lion's at Albert, and Father said, he, I am vexed. So they complained to an animal keeper who said, My, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure it's your boy that is eaten? Pa said, I'm not sure, here's his cap. The manager had to be sent for. He came right away and said, What to do? Ma said, Yon lion said, Albert. And father said, in his Sunday clothes too. Father said, right, right, young fella, I think it's a shame and a sin to have our Albert eaten by a lion and after we've paid to come in. The manager wanted no trouble. He got out his purse right away, saying, how much to settle the matter? And Pa said, what do you usually pay? But Mother had turned a bit awkward. When she saw where our Albert had gone, she said, no, someone's got to be summoned. So that was decided upon. So they went down the police station in front of a magistrate chap. They told him what happened to Albert and proved it by showing his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion that no one was really to blame. And he said he hoped the Ram's Bottoms would have many more sons to their name. But that mother got proper anxious. Oh, thank you, sir, kindly, said she. What? Spend all our lives raising children to feed ruddy lions? Not me. Hey, well, that was much better.